Nevin Shapiro spent nine years as UM football's number one booster, but today sits in an Atlanta prison, convicted for his role in a massive $900 million Ponzi scheme. In a telephone interview with CBS4 sports anchor Jim Barry, Shapiro says he showered UM players with gifts and benefits. There are people within that university program that were not only that, that not only had knowledge, but were involved co-conspirators. The Miami Hurricanes, a powerhouse in college football, but behind the glamour in the game, a scandal lurks, a $900 million Ponzi scheme orchestrated by a figure whose name sends shockwaves through the world of sports. Today, we're diving into the Nevin Shapiro scandal and uncovering why the NCAA might want you to forget this dark chapter. Now let's rewind to the 2000s. The Miami Hurricanes were making headlines for their on-field performance, but behind the scenes, Nevin Shapiro, a wealthy Miami businessman and booster, was orchestrating a massive financial scheme that would rock the sports world. Nevin Shapiro was a Miami native and a self-styled philanthropist who had deep pockets and even deeper connections within the Hurricanes athletic program. Known for his flashy lifestyle and lavish parties, Shapiro seemed to have it all. But underneath the surface, the wealth was anything but legitimate. Shapiro uses influence to attract investors to what he claimed were lucrative ventures tied to the hurricanes, promising high returns and investments related to sports facilities, team enhancements, and even exclusive events. Shapiro managed to convince many to part with their money. Now, here's where the story takes a dark turn. Shapiro's operation was a classic Ponzi scheme. He used new investor funds to pay returns to earlier investors, keeping the illusion of profitability alive. But like all Ponzi schemes, it was a house of cards, and it began to collapse when the incoming funds dried up. Now, by the time authorities caught wind of the scheme, Shapiro had swindled nearly $900 million from unsuspecting investors. Now, the scandal wasn't just about financial fraud. It also had deep implications from the Miami Hurricanes. Allegations surfaced that Shapiro had used his position and money to influence the team and its operations. So why does it feel like the scandal has been swept under the rug? Critics argue that the NCAA, which governs college athletics, has been unusually quiet about the whole affair. Given Shapiro's involvement with the Hurricanes, many believe the NCAA might prefer to downplay or just ignore the scandal to avoid further tarnishing its image. The theory is that the NCAA's silence is strategic. By avoiding deep scrutiny of the scandal, they prevent additional damage to the reputation of their one high-profile programs. This also sidesteps broader questions about oversight and accountability within college sports. Following the scandal's exposure, Shapiro faced legal consequences, including a lengthy prison sentence. The fallout for the Miami Hurricanes was significant, but the NCAA's response has been criticized as inadequate. Some argue that the lack of transparency and accountability has allowed the story to fade from the public eye. The Nevin Shapiro scandal is a stark reminder of how greed and corruption can infiltrate even the most respected institutions. While the NCAA might want the story to be forgotten, it's crucial to remember and learn from it. The scandal highlights the need for vigilance oversight, and integrity in all areas of sports and finance. Thanks for joining us in this deep dive into a scandal that the NCAA would rather you forget.
If you found this video intriguing or interesting, don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell for more content like this. And drop a comment below. What other stories do you want us to uncover? Until next time, I appreciate y'all. I'm out. Peace.